everybody. I'm back. I'm still not 100%. Definitely better than I have been. You'll have to excuse me. I'm going to be drinking coffee again. It's just a thing I do. You also have to excuse the creaky chair. I have old chairs. I got my table and three chairs for like 25 bucks at a yard sale over the summer and I love them. They have lots of character. I have to refinish the chairs, but they're noisy. They need a little bit of love. <laughs> Such is the nature of older things. Um, so I have my tripod set up on my kitchen table today, which I cleaned off finally. It was all covered in crap stuff. I have a sort of background today. It is um, like a clothes rack that I've covered with a blanket and my handy dandy shawl behind me. Uh, so I have lots to share with you today. Uh, you all know that I have been knitting and I've been on a kick, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, I've been trying to do lots of little projects and stuff um, in between napping to try and help me feel um, like I'm accomplishing something. Uh, what should we start off with? Why don't we start off with new acquisitions? I'm so excited. <coughs> Excuse me so much. So here is my Knit Picks catalog. Um, most of you, if you've been following along with my few videos, um, would know that, <coughs> excuse me so much, I talk a lot about Knit Picks and I was using Knit Picks before I found the Chem Knits YouTube channel. Uh, she's amazing. I'll put a link down below. Check out her dyeing video. She's who inspired me to dye my own yarn. But I was using Knit Picks before that because I could get quantity and quality without breaking the bank. So I've I signed up and they send me uh, their seasonal catalog which has you know cool patterns like how the 80s is coming back people you're just gonna have to accept it. Look at that. Look! I may or may not have had leg warmers in the 80s that resembled those colors. <laughs> so this has all kinds of cool um, Christmas patterns and stuff that they're coming out with. They had a needle sale. Um, yes, they had a needle sale. I've been wanting to get some better needles because as I said previous, I had <clears throat> inherited some from my mom. And they're nice and they work. <clears throat> Excuse me so much. You'll have to bear with me. All right. Better. So, uh, yes, but they're older. And they're long, like, straight needle size. Of course, I don't have some of those here to show you, but I've got everything else. But anyways, they're the long size, and I find them bulky and weird when I'm doing, like, small things like dishcloths or... Um, stuff like that. So I wanted something with more circulars and the circulars that I have are nice, but I don't feel like having to go and like heat up water to put the plastic cord in them to let it relax so that I can use them without it going like this every time I try to turn a row. So that brings me to <clears throat> one of my first and biggest acquisitions. Biggest, I mean like more expensive. So... I don't know if that's going to show up for you guys. Oh, look at the pattern. It's like waves. This is, I got a set of circular circular needles. I can talk. Say that ten times fast. I can't even say it once. <laughs> so I got a set of circular needles. Uh, interchangeable ones. And this case, and I think it was on sale for about 60 bucks US. Anything I say price-wise from Knit Picks is always in U.S. prices. I am in Canada, <clears throat> but pricing on their site is all in U.S. And that's just the numbers that I remember. Um, so that being said, I got a set of interchangeable wood needles. I'll try and cut out some of the glare. Oh, there we go. Uh, they are ranging in size from a... 3.5, is that what that says? Yes, sorry. Old eyeballs. 3.5 up to an 8 millimeter. 
Um, I'll show you the bigger one just because it's easier to see. Look at the, it's a laminated birch, which is dyed this beautiful color. And it has a metal piece on the end. And that's what connects to the cable. Sorry, Mike, I'm used to my camera being over there. It's over there today. And it came with um, metal cables. But like, look at those. There's no memory in them at all. Rupi, you were just outside, never you mind. So it came with two of the smaller ones, and I can't remember how big an inches those are right now, because why would I remember that? I don't have the package. And then um, two of the longer ones. And you can attach that to any size needle. It just has, I'll get one. So you just hook it into the needle. Sorry, you might hear scratching at the door behind me. That is my dog thinking he needs to go outside because he heard somebody outside or something. It is garbage day here. So there's lots of traffic and goings on around the area. So now this is the smallest needle size that comes and this is the biggest. And they both go on to the, to the, same, the same cable. Okay, obviously you don't want to, you don't want to knit with those both at the same time. I'm just showing you that they all work together. This is my first ever set of interchangeable needles. This is my first set of wood needles. This is my first set of metal cables. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, and the other thing that it came with was these two little bags. Oh, I have a hair, sorry. And in there is, so if you want to like use your needles for something else, but you don't want to, you're like you're not finished your project. So if you're like me and you like, ooh, I want to start that one. So it has these little plastic discs with a metal insert in them to see if it shows that. <laughs> and so you would just take your needle off and then, I see you, Rupee. Hi, bud. And then this would just go on to the end. It turns on like very slowly, apparently. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I'm only gonna do one because that takes forever. So it just clips on to, let me cover my face and see if that'll show up. And it just, so it just clips on to the end. And so you put one on the other end and that would keep all your stitches from falling off. So there's those. So it came with eight of those. So four cables. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine um, sets of different sizes of needles. And it also came with two of the keys. And what those are is just this little teeny oops, metal thingy. And there's a little hole in, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Um, maybe. I got a lot of glare. Um, we'll just stick that in there and then you can see. So it goes right through. And what that does is when you have it on the needle, this just, like you have the tips on here, this just helps tighten it so that, you know, when you're knitting along, it doesn't fly off, which can happen. Um, you can finger tighten them and leave them that way, but they will come loose and drive you a buggy. I know this because I was lazy one day and my thing was across the room and I didn't feel like going to get the little key so I didn't until I did because it was driving me crazy. So that is the biggest purchase and in the other side because this has like the zipper side here and then it has all the needles in this but then this side flips over and there's room for more if you can see there's room for more needles on this side and there's another zippered section over here as well too and in this little zippered section is a set of locking stitch markers and a set of knitting stitch markers now you can see the difference um to anybody who may be just a crocheter and not a knitter these ones are only for knitting because if you put those in your crochet you see how they're solid 
you're not going to get those out again and you're going to be very unhappy with yourself for doing that. So don't use those for crochet, only knitting. And it's so that they can go over the needle and mark where you are. And then they just slide off when you do your next row. The locking ones you can use for knitting and crochet. <clears throat> and um, obviously they open and close so they're easy to get off. I have been using them on a mitt that I've been making. It's worked flat and then you seam it up the side. But I have, you take off your stitches and I didn't have like a, a stitch marker, uh, like a stitch holder. They're like a big blunt end, <clears throat> um, what's the word I'm looking for? Safety pin. <laughs> it's like a big blunt end safety pin. But I didn't have one so I used a couple of the locking stitch markers. So I just slid them off and put them on there. But they lock and unlock so you just kind of they work the same like a safety pin <clears throat> so that is how those work and I'll show you more about the mitts after and the other thing that I got was this this is a set of DPNs also from knit picks this is a five inch uh, set from uh, 2 millimeter up to 3.25 millimeter. So it's got a 2, 2.25, 2.5, 2.75, 3, and 3.25 millimeter. <coughs> Excuse me so much. <clears throat> I'm a diva. I need my coffee. So these are also in uh, the same um, wood. Uh, the color is called Caspian, and it is a like a yellowish green with a like a tealy green and a blue, almost navy. And I don't know if I'll show up very good. Lots of glare. So I just have these in the case that they came in, um, just kind of sitting in here because. These are not marked with the sizes, and I would forget what they are, <laughs> so I have them in there, so I will remember. Um, now the other, like the DP, the, the interchangeables did come in a case like the DPNs, but I took them out and put them in here because that's what this is for, and I didn't want to have a big plastic case. I don't know where I put the case, I have somewhere. So that is my biggest purchase. Um my favorite is one um and the other one of the other things that i got i did go to walmart okay our michael's closed a few months ago <clears throat> before that there was like a mom and pop yarn shop it closed like a couple years ago and then the michael's closed which was the only other yarn store in our town besides walmart before that um probably about five years ago maybe more now uh, we had a Zellers which was a great place to get yarn it had loads and loads and loads of options um, it was really popular in the crafting community but then Zellers closed so we've just had all these closures in the last like 10 years and it's ridiculous so I went to Walmart the other day we had to go pick up a couple things I'm like I'm just gonna go check the yarn section you know all my American friends keep posting these one dollar balls they got on sale and carts full of it and I go to the wa the yarn aisle well it used to be two or three aisles now it's like one in a little bit and I think 50 skeins of yarn would be an overstatement of what was actually available it was bare like bare they had stuff on the end caps but in like the actual aisle was like bare and I didn't think to take a picture I was just so stunned and one of the things on the shelf was this it is boutique red heart boutique unforgettable waves and it is color lake house it's so pretty oh it's so pretty I think you see that it's kind of like a thick and thin yarn and it's got a substantial halo um, it is see if I can find what it's made out of 
100% acrylic. Okay, so it's acrylic and it is a medium four. <clears throat> and I got three balls of that. And it is like kind of a, not an army green, but sort of. I don't know if that'll show up on camera. But these were $7.97 regularly at my Walmart here in Canada, and I got them for a dollar a piece. It said a dollar on the shelf, and I'm like, that's got to be a joke. So I took it to the scanner thing, which was really hard to find, and sure enough, they were a dollar. So I bought all three of them. And then they had the Lion Brand Mandalas. Which were not on sale. These were, I think, eight dollars, seven ninety-seven also. And this one is clearly not the proper colorway, <laughs> but it had a label on it. This one is wood. It's the label says it's wood nymph, but it is clearly not that. Um, and it was the only one, <clears throat> excuse me, of this color. And there's like a random white strand in the middle of the hank the ball cake whatever you want to call it um so i paid full price for that but i just really loved the colors it's like it shows you better there it's like a bright bright purpley pink to like a lighter kind of mauvey pink and then it has like a light mm, sort of minty green into like a teal green and then like into a couple other shades of blue and then a dark kind of navy purplish but it's really pretty so I bought that at full price and that was all I came out of the Walmart with for yarn because it was sad in there and my other acquisition I think this is the last one is this book it's called heirloom baby knits by Deborah Newton and I got this at my local thrift store it's called Valley Village here um, it's not the best of thrift stores. They charge ridiculous prices for stuff there, but it is what it is and it's the only thrift store and I go there and I can usually get, um, I can usually get my crafting books if they have any for pretty cheap. <coughs> Excuse me. I got some vintage macrame books for like two bucks a piece. Uh, they're magazines from like back in the 70s and 80s. Which was awesome. I showed those, I think, in another video. But this is all baby stuff. And I was looking through it going, oh, that's so cute. And then I saw, oh my gosh. How adorable is that? It's so cute. So as soon as I saw that, I'm like, oh, I don't care how much that is. I'm buying it. And so I did. But it's got lots of cool stuff. There's lots of, um, like, sets. It has... Um, there's a baby blanket. Oh, you can't see that for the glare. There's a baby blanket, a sweater, and even like little booties. But the majority of the sweaters, I feel like you could probably turn the repeats into a blanket if you wanted to. Um, but there's lots of really cute stuff in there, so I got that. I think it was two bucks, maybe. So that is the end of my acquisitions. Let me just move some stuff out of the way here. <clears throat> no, Rupert, you're not going outside to go bug the poor guy that's plowing the sidewalk. So, as I said, I've been doing some knitting. And I was, while I've been sick, I've been doing some little projects. <clears throat> and this is one of my little projects. Oh my god, it's so cute! <clears throat> this is my first ever Fair Isle project, color work project. And... My seaming is not super pro because, I mean, it's my first ever thing ever like this in Fair Isle color work or whatever. And I, the needles I use were way too small. <laughs> this is a worst of weight yarn, I think. I use like a 3.25. So it's stiff as anything. <laughs> like, really, there's not a whole lot of give to it. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of myself because I feel like the color work came out really nice. I... I like it. My husband thinks it's too big. And I said, well, no, it's a mini stocking. I'm, I'm going to put it on my tree. I have like a, me a metal tree on my wall. I don't know if I can show you guys without knocking the camera over. 
see the wall. There's my tree. So let me just, uh-oh, sorry, gotta fix y'all precariously on my table here. All right. Anyways, um, it's been hanging on that tree on the wall for like a week. <laughs> and of course I did show you the little mitt that I made. Um, the pat, the pattern says to make a pair of mitts and like join them together. But I kind of think that well, I would put like a bunch of single mitts on my tree. I think they would be super cute. Probably that's just me. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, here is a finished mitt. And it's just made in like a green tweed that I had. Someone gave me a bunch of yarn, like leftovers, scraps and stuff. So I wanted to see what it would look like. And I just did a straight up solid color. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's really important to pay attention to your pattern when you're working. Or you end up with two different kind of looking mitts. They're really actually the same size pretty much. Oh no, one's a little bit bigger even. I think that's just how I sewed it. But yeah, so one is kind of bigger than the other. <laughs> that was supposed to be like a pair of mitts that I joined together, but I'm like, um, that's gonna look silly. So then I'm like, what if I just did single mitts? But my husband thinks that would be silly. So I'm gonna have to make another one this size and another one this size to have a couple of pairs because you're supposed to join them with like a little oops. A little, not a oops, with a little loop in the middle so you can like use that and hang that on your tree. I think they're super cute. And this blue one is just, um, I don't know. Again, it's a yarn that I got a while ago that was a scrap and it had no label. Um, pretty much sure it's acrylic. <coughs> Excuse me so much, you guys. My dog is wondering who I'm talking to, and he's giving me the eyeballs like, what are you doing, man? Who are you talking to? <laughs> so he's off camera. So if you see me looking off camera, he's just staring at me like I'm supposed to know what he wants. Um, so here's a thing that I made. This is for an order for somebody from back when I had the fall fair. And I just get it all nice and pretty. It is. Okay, a cute little change purse. It's like a little, the little kiss clasp. I think I said that right. So it's just like that. And I like it. There we go. Ah, I had to get it all nice looking. There we go. Anyhow, it's got like a little thing on the side. I don't know if you can see that to like hang a, a key ring or like a little wristlet or something but this turned out pretty freaking amazing I'm just gonna bulk out that one side so we, you can see the colors look at the okay there we go look how pretty the colors turned out I'm super excited because this is yarn that I hand dyed um, and it's pretty amazing I love I love it I kind of wanted to keep it but I mean it's for a, a little girl, so I couldn't, I couldn't really say, no, sorry, you can't have that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, you guys remember that I had started knitting a blanket. Oh, gosh, I don't even remember when the last time I did a video was. It's been so long since I've been sick. I'm still not feeling the best, but we're getting there. So this, let me just pull all the stitches off to one side so you can sort of see at least part of it. This is my progress so far. So you got, it's got the, yeah, it's got the garter stitch edge all around it, like the border. And I remember I did the edges too wide, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm kind of, excuse me, oh my god, I'm kind of loving the color changes and how they're progressing. And it's made with a Karen Big Cake. I'm sorry, I was looking to see if I could figure out. Um, I got, cause I, I can't get these here and it's expensive to order them online and, um, for acrylic, I don't want to pay that much to ship them. So my girlfriend's son lives in North Bay, which is about a four hour drive for me. 
and he comes up quite often and but they have a Michaels there so I got him to pick me up two more of these I was just looking for them to, I could tell you the name of it because I don't know the name because the label <coughs> excuse me so much the label got lost so as you can tell <coughs> the more I talk <coughs> the more I'm having issues sorry about that all right so a little recap um, anybody remember this basket? So today is the 28th, I think. Pretty sure today is 28th. Um, which means that there's only two more days to enter this giveaway. Um, for some hand dyed yarn that I dyed. So I have these two semi matching sets because hand dyed yarn is never the same even if it's dyed at the same time, in the same pot, with the same colors, in the same way. So they're, <clears throat> they will go together, but they're not exactly matching. So like if you tried to make yourself like a pair of knee high socks, they're gonna look a little different, but that's okay. So they're like yellow, brown. The colors I used is Wilton's Gel Food Coloring and Golden Yellow. <coughs> Excuse me, so Golden Yellow um, Kelly Green and um, Brown <laughs> and I felt like that's kind of like really fall-ish colors and I just wanted to try something different so that's pretty much showing up kind of true to the colors maybe a little brighter <coughs> to me than real life so there's two skeins of that and this just to give you a little reminder is a worsted weight. It is a hundred percent superwash wool. It is 220 yards in 100 grams, and uh, it sells for 25 bucks on my Etsy shop. But these are going. Both of them are going to one lucky winner. I will post the link to the video, the giveaway video, because you have to go to the video, and <clears throat> excuse me. Watch the video and do what it says to enter uh, the giveaway. You can comment on here if you like, but it won't enter you into the giveaway. So make sure you look in the comments, uh, the, the video description box, and go to the video to enter if you want to win that. And it's open to Canada and the U.S. Um, I apologize to all my friends and other places in the world. I just can't afford to ship it to you. I'm just a newbie. And the other thing that comes with this giveaway are these cute little nesting baskets <coughs> excuse me so much so I'm professional I know it's just been so long since I've done a video and I wanted to get on here and <clears throat> tell you guys I was still kicking all right and on the inside it's just like a single crochet so like you see how they're really floppy floppy doppy so this lining just tucks inside and gives them a little bit more structure so they're both like that I kind of feel like it looks a little bit like a mushroom and this this is yarn that I hand dyed as well using um, yeah using Wilton's food coloring and I have added to the giveaway so this stuff you're gonna see now is not in the original giveaway video so I've added to the giveaway this cute little mini skein I don't even know what weight it is I haven't weighed it it's what I had left over um, when I made a purse and a matching uh, change purse that I gave to a woman <clears throat> who's doing a fundraiser uh, to raise funds for travel and lodging and stuff while she goes through treatment for a brain tumor. And that's neither here nor there. So this is what I had left over from it. And this is dyed with two colors of jello. This is dyed with strawberry jello and cherry jello. And then the extra gray or dark bits are Wilton's black food coloring. How cute is that? So this little mini skein, this little guy, it goes in here too. We're going to just tuck him in the little basket. He won't even go in the basket. So there's that. And then one other thing that I added to this giveaway is this little notions pouch and it has uh, a cloth tag on it and it says what sunshine is to flowers 
smiles are to humanity. And it's just like a little, uh, like a little flowery motif, I guess. And I found, <laughs> this is the last thing that's going in the giveaway. This is uh, a digital row counter. I had done an unboxing of some hobby yarn that I got. And it had come with a, a row counter, but then I had misplaced it, and now I found it. So this is going in the giveaway as well. <clears throat> so you're going to get two hanks of hand-dyed yarn, two nesting baskets, a little mini skein, a notions pouch, and a digital row counter. So that's all going to be in the giveaway. So again, make sure you go to the video description box. Oh my gosh, my brain is going to work. Go to the video description box, Go to, that'll link you to the video for the giveaway and you have to go to that video to enter the giveaway. And it's only open until October 30th. <coughs> Excuse me. Squeaky chair. So make sure you do that. <clears throat> and thanks for doing that. Um, so I forgot to start off by saying, hi, I'm Sarah Bear. Welcome to the cave. <laughs> so better late than never. So if you're new here, uh, welcome, welcome to the cave. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, thanks for getting to know me. Um, my name is Sarah. I'm the owner, creator, artist of Sarah Bear's Creative Cave. I crochet, I knit, I macrame, I hand dye yarn, I spin my own yarn, among other fun and crafty things. Um, Rupert, stop yourself. Sorry. He's like, I wanna go outside. He's been outside like six times in the last hour. Don't kid yourself, he's fine. He doesn't really have to go to the bathroom. He just wants to go pee on the same four spots he's peed on and bark at whatever happens to be outside. So anyways, yeah. And if you're returning here, thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around. Um, if this is your cup of tea and you wanna know more about me or what I do, um, hit the subscribe button down below if you wanna get any information or if you wanna be updated when um, the video comes out where I pick the winner of the giveaway make sure to hit the little bell icon I hope I'm doing it on the right side it might be the wrong side so either here or here um as always thumbs up or appreciated every time you like or comment on someone's video it gets boosted and they get it seen um more so you're helping anybody that you like their videos anybody that you comment on their videos Anytime you share someone's video, um, you're helping that creator, that crafter, that YouTuber get their video seen and you're helping promote their channel. And so, and it's not just for me, it's for all of us. So I really would like to say thank you. I appreciate it on behalf of all of the YouTube community. Um, so I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you're doing awesome. Um, if you're not doing awesome, that's okay. Remember that you are still awesome anyway. So have yourselves a good day. Be safe, be happy pay it forward, and stay crafty. Bye!